When a woman finds out that she's expecting a new baby, everything changes. First you think about becoming a parent, then you think about maybe you're wondering if it's a boy or a girl, when you're gonna have the baby, are they gonna be born on a holiday or somebody else's birthday, what are you gonna name that baby? And what do you need on your baby registry? When you walk into the baby store and you get one of the printed out lists of all the things you should put on your registry, it is so overwhelming. Honestly, newborn babies need such few things that making a big grand registry for your baby's first year of life is almost unnecessary. Your baby is going to go through more diapers than they're going to go through play pens and swings and bouncy seats and all those other things that you don't necessarily need to worry about all the bells and whistles that you want for your child. Now, of course, you need to make sure that you have the basics, but there are so many aspects of motherhood that are so much more important than the things that you put on your baby registry. You don't need a high-end food processor to make your baby's baby food. You don't need the number one swing slash stroller slash bouncy seat slash walker jumper, all the things. You don't need all of these things, but what you do need is a village. There are many aspects of motherhood that I can say I wish I knew about before I had my first kid. I had no idea that becoming a mom was going to be such a huge, dramatic, drastic change in my life because I was a teacher. I was a preschool teacher and I had 24 kids in my classroom and I was under the impression that if I can manage 24 kids in my classroom and have a beautiful, organized, well-decorated, well-behaved, and just like amazing classroom, like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie about it, I had a great freaking classroom. I had really great kids, and I thought if I can do all of that, then having one baby will be easy. Joke's on me. The transition to mother motherhood was hard. And I, there's a lot that I wish that I knew and there's a lot that I wish I had. And the number one thing being a village, being friends, being a meal train. Like I had no idea that I wasn't gonna have enough energy to get up and you know make breakfast, lunch, and dinner for myself, let alone my husband when he came home from work to have dinner on the table. It was hard, it was a very hard transition. And I found an amazing website slash, I don't even know what we call it, but I wanna share with you guys a really amazing tool that I found and this is it's called Be Her Village, and we're gonna jump on my computer in just a second. I really wanna share this with you because it's what I wish I had when I became a mom. All the bells and whistles, like I said, those are extra, and we don't need them. But you do need support, and you do need help, and you do need to be okay with asking for it. Let's jump into this website. I wanna show you guys all the things and how many amazing things that you can add to your baby registry that isn't a materialistic thing. So this is Be Her Village, and I actually heard about it on a podcast, and I, like, I'm not affiliated with them. I honestly, like, have spoken to the owner one time, and it was like, thanks for sharing, and I'm like, thank you for sharing. So what I really love about this is that it is a baby registry, not like others, and what you can do is create a registry, or you can go on here to give a gift. This is giving moms the support that they need and deserve. Whether it's doulas, childbirth education, pelvic floor health, lactation consultant, mental health support, more, uh, sleep consultant, hello, falling under the more category. So what you can do, look at all of these locations that are already using this resource. So you can click on just partners. These are all the partners. So these are all of the people who are like, hey, I have this service in this area. Let's, you know, like be available for people to add to their registries. And then the blue, these are all people who are registered. And so I thought that this was really, really cool. And you can create your own registry and find your village. So having people, they're basically like donating money for certain things. 
So you can say like, I know I'm going to want a postpartum doula. I know I'm going to want a sleep consultant. Um, I know I'm going to want Missy's newborn sleep course. So you can put it on your registry and people can buy you these things. It's almost like, like an experience gift. Like you're asking, like when you, well, when your kids get older, you may ask for an experience gift for your kid, like a visit to the zoo or something instead of new toys. And that's basically what this is for new parents. I'm just kind of like browsing along their website. And like I said, I am not affiliated with them at all. I just thought that this was an amazing service to be able to offer as a registry item. Basically, like you're going to like make your own registry and put all this stuff in there. And then I'm not going to do that because I'm not pregnant and I don't want all these emails. But <laughs> you can find a registry. I, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to type it. Wow, well, I wanted to do Smith, but okay. So Amy Smith, I don't know who you are, but you got the last name Smith and that's what I did. She wanted a night nurse. So that is on here and you can buy it. You can add it to cart. Um, let's go see what Brianna Smith is looking for. I feel so bad putting these people on blast, but like not really. So she wants a postpartum doula. She wants a midwife. She wants birth photography and another birth doula. Wait, did she have, Anna, what are you asking for here? Oh, postpartum doula and a birth doula. So yes, that makes sense. Um, and these things are expensive. So um, those are just some of those examples. What's another comment? Let's see if there's any Yondos. Are there any Yondos? No, no Yondos. That's funny though. Um, let's see, let's find a Missy. Let's see if there's any. Are there any missies looking for <laughs> for this registry? No missies. Okay, well then how about Melissa? Now I'm kind of just like having fun. Okay, Melissa Turnbloom. Blom, Turnbloom. I'm gonna say bloom because slumber and bloom. Okay, so she wants a postpartum doula, lactation support, childbirth education, very smart, and doula support. Um, so these are all things that she is asking for for her village. Okay, another cool thing that I wanted to do was shop for services. And I love that over here on the left-hand side, you do have a guide. So this is very similar to um, when you have a guide when you go to Bye Bye Baby or like whatever it might be. Let's click on sleep coaching for the mere fact that I am a sleep consultant and I want to see what other people are doing. Um, so shaping healthy sleep for newborns, virtual cons consultation, in-home sleep coaching, three week sleep program. So there's so much out here. Anyway. Okay. So you see how there are just so many different things. What else can I, okay. Oh, I want to look at photographers. So then you can kind of see like how there are so many different styles, different options, different things that you can add to your registry. Um, and what you can also do is if you want it virtual or in person. So let's say you want something in person. This is going to, I, I didn't put in like my location, so I'm not really sure. This thinks I'm in Norfolk, Virginia. So that's cool. Patchogue, New York. That's kind of closer to where I live, but it's not where I live. So I wonder if really only gets your location when you actually like are making your registry and putting it in. That's like my guess. I think you probably get the gist. Pelvic floor specialist. Like these things are so needed. Like when you sneeze pee, you need a pelvic floor specialist. If you are interested in an unmedicated birth or medicated or whatever doulas do, um, midwives, all of that stuff. If you just want that birth support, you know that your support partner may need more support <laughs> um, and you need somebody like that. Um, if you are interested in chiropractic care, that is something that you can add. Chiropractic is important and a lot of times not covered by insurance or only covered a little bit by insurance. And it can be good for mama, baby, whole family. So that's definitely something that 
you can also request on your registry. I'm like, I'm obsessed with this. I wish that this was a thing when I was pregnant. So again, like I said, like this business has no idea that I'm making this video. They have no idea that I'm just like snooping the website and doing all these things. Um, but I firmly believe that everybody needs help. Everyone needs a village. And when you become a mom, like you have to make your own village. You need to handpick the people that you're going to trust in your village. This is such an amazing resource. And I'm just really excited to be able to kind of put it out there and say, this is a thing. This is real. Get at it. Sleep cadets. DIY sleep coaching. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing all the sleep support here and I love it. Parent coaching. That's an, a really good one. So you know what? The other thing that I wanted to mention really quick too, is that like with this like parent coaching and um, like sleep training and potty training, I didn't see potty training on here, but I like, obviously I'm also a potty training consultant. So um, that's something that I would be adding and maybe I will make an account and add my services on here. You can also add things that are like extras or things that you might not need right away, but maybe you're going to need later down the road when your kid is a little bit older. Like it's the same thing as putting a high chair on your baby registry, knowing that you're not going to need it the first year ish of your child's life. Um, or at least like the first six to eight months until your baby is sitting up unassisted. And even then, like how often are you going to be using a high chair? Like you don't need all the bells and whistles, but you need the support. So, 110% check out this website. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned a lot about creating your baby registry, what you really need and what you don't need so much. One more thing that I wanted to mention was my newborn sleep course. Now this encompasses so much more than just sleep, but the entire fourth trimester, becoming a new mom, all the things that have to do with healing your body, getting to know your baby, creating routines and schedules, and what to do when you're going back to work and all the things. So go to the link in the description box down below and grab my newborn sleep course and keep blooming. Mwah.